Pterygopalatine ganglion or sphenopalatine ganglion of hay fever or Meckel's ganglion. Features Pterygopalatine is the largest parasympathetic peripheral ganglion. It serves as a relay station for secretomotor fibers to the lacrimal gland and to the mucous glands of the nose, paranasal sinuses, palate, and pharynx. Topographically, it is related to the maxillary nerve, but functionally, it is connected to facial nerve through its greater petrosal branch. The flattened ganglion lies in the pterygopalatine fossa just below the maxillary nerve, in front of the pterygoid canal. Connections The parasympathetic root of the ganglion is formed by the nerve of the pterygoid canal. It carries preganglionic fibers that arise from the neurons present near the superior salivatory and lacrimatory nuclei and pass through the nervous intermedius, the facial nerve, the geniculate ganglion, the greater petrosal nerve, and the nerve of the pterygoid canal to reach the ganglion. The fibers relay in the ganglion. Postganglionic fibers arise in the ganglion to supply the secretomotor nerves to the lacrimal gland and to the mucous glands of the nose the paranasal sinuses, the palate, and the nasopharynx. The sympathetic root is also derived from the nerve of the pterygoid canal. It contains postganglionic fibers arising in the superior cervical sympathetic ganglion which pass through the internal carotid plexus, the deep petrosal nerve, and the nerve to the pterygoid canal to reach the ganglion. The fibers pass through the ganglion without relay and supply vasomotor nerves to the mucous membrane of the nose, the paranasal sinuses, the palate, and the nasopharynx. The sensory roots come from the maxillary nerve. Its fibers pass through the ganglion without relay. They emerge in the branches as described below. Branches The branches of the ganglion are actually branches of the maxillary nerve. They also carry parasympathetic and sympathetic fibers, which pass through the ganglion. The branches are orbital branches that pass through the inferior orbital fissure and supply the periosteum of the orbit and the orbitalis muscle, which is involuntary. Palatine branches. The greater or anterior palatine nerve descends through the greater palatine canal and supplies the hard palate and the labial aspect of the upper gums. The lesser or middle and posterior palatine nerves supply the soft palate and the tonsil. Nasal branches enter the nasal cavity through the sphenopalatine foramen. The lateral posterior superior nasal branches supply the posterior parts of the superior and middle concave. The medial posterior superior nasal branches, two or three in number, supply the posterior part of the roof of the nose and of the nasal septum. The largest of these nerves is known as the nasopalatine nerve which descends up to the anterior part of the heart palate through the incisive foramen. The pharyngeal branch passes through the palatino-vaginal canal and supplies the part of the nasopharynx behind the auditory tube. The lacrimal branch. The postganglionic fibers pass back into the maxillary nerve to leave it through the zygomatic nerve and its zygomatico-temporal branch a communicating branch to lacrimal nerve to supply the secretor motor fibers to the lacrimal gland.